dropped out. Very simple, just means to quit, okay? Usually we think of school. That means you quit school, you're done at school, you just want to work. John dropped out of college because it was too hard, okay? So the first thing we usually think of is college or university. If, if someone is, doesn't like studying so much and it's so much work, they're going to drop out, they're going to quit. It's not just school though. We can kind of put this in anything that we committed our time to. I joined the basketball team, but it was too hard, so I dropped out. Uh, I joined a book club, but I didn't have time for it, so I dropped out. Any similar expression that you can think of? The main similar expression is just to quit, right? But drop out has more of a deep connotation. It's like you're really quitting something important that you committed your time to. Any final word? I know school is really hard here, but please don't think about dropping out. It'll all be worth it in the end. But there are Steve Jobs and Bill Gates, those people, college dropouts, who became mega successful while you're preaching. Like you're, that. You're only hearing about the most famous dropouts. Tell me the stories about all the other dropouts. Then you can come back to me. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> English. 자, 오늘 표현, drop out of school 이라는 표현입니다. 꼭 스쿨이 될 필요는 없지만, drop out of school 이라는 표현이 많이 사용이 되기 때문에 제가 먼저 설명을 드리도록 하겠습니다. drop out 이라는 것은요, 쉽게 말하면요, 그만두다 라는 것입니다. 근데 단순하게 그만두는 느낌보다는 뭔가 큰 중요한 것을 그만두는 느낌이거든요. 학교는 우리에게 매우 중요한 것이죠, 그쵸? 그래서 drop out of school 이라고 하면요, 학교를 다니다가 중간에 그만두는 걸 생각하시면 되겠습니다. 하지만 이걸 응용을 하면요, drop out of the race 라고도 할수 있겠죠? 우리가 어떠한 그 race 경주를 하다가 중간에 너무나 힘들어 갖고 중간에 그냥 탈락을 했습니다. 그때도 drop out of race 라는 표현을 사용할 수 있었다라는 것이죠. The best thing for me to do is drop out of college and get a job. The best thing for me to do is drop out of college and get a job. The best thing for me to do is drop out of college and get a job. The best thing for me to do is drop out of college and get a job. The best thing for me to do is drop out of college and get a job. 여러분들 영어 공부하다 보면요 중간에 그냥 드랍하고 싶은 생각이 될수 있습니다. 하지만 사실 언어라는 게요 상당히 큰 꾸준함을 요구를 합니다. 꾸준함과 인내심이 요구가 되거든요. 자 그러니까 여러분들 drop out of studying English 하지 마시고요 꾸준하게 해서 여러분들이 정말 어, 원하는 그런 영어 실력을 이루었으면 좋겠네요. 자, 그럼 우리 또 다음 시간에 찾아뵙도록 하겠습니다. See you guys next time. Bye bye.